Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk about Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology. It is going to be a third video in a series of videos about universities in South Korea that are completely science oriented. Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology is located in Guangzhou, in South Korea, and it is among the best as far as research is concerned. So without taking too much of your time, let's get into my computer and look at this scholarship. It is important to note that this scholarship is for undergraduate students. So if you are an undergraduate student and you want to come and study in South Korea, this is an opportunity to take. Before we continue, please, if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos coming from me. So when you go to Google, type GIS. GIS stands for Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology or type in for Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology. And the next thing is you take the first option. From there, go up to admission and then take international undergraduate admission. There is a video that I made on graduate admission if you want you can check that video and then i equally made a video on kai's institute of science and technology in Daejeon, and another one is university of science and technology all of those universities have admissions that are ongoing if you really want to come and do a master or phd then go for for university of science and technology in Daejeon. if you want to do undergraduate that's bachelor and maybe a master or phd then you can go for kais institute of science and technology then if you want undergraduate only this is an undergraduate option this Guangzhou institute of science and technology kais also has um, uh, admission for undergraduate students so Guangzhou institute of science and technology has undergraduate admission that is ongoing and then Guangzhou Institute equally has undergraduate that is ongoing. So here you can look at the admission guide. But let's look at the timeline first. Okay, so admission is from the 20th of December and will run right up to 15th of February next year, 2023. If you want to go to the admission portal, all you need to do is just click here. And then it will take you to the admission portal. You would have to create a username and a password for those who are new. Let's go back and then look at the application process. These are the process. Fill out an online application. You need a recommendation letter, at least one. And then you have to upload the necessary documents. And then submit and then check your email for a response and then here you would find required documents there is an application form you can download then there is equally a recommendation form this is just a sample but you can get the real one from the application guide so this is what you're supposed to your your professor is supposed to or your teacher is supposed to fill out you equally need your high school profile all of these things will be filled out in the application online application you need to input your high school and university high school transcript your certificate of graduation or your diploma there is need for an English proficiency but note that this university usually waves it away you need a copy of your passport to prove that you are not Korean because this is for international applicants. Then you would have to provide maybe your birth certificate to prove that your parents are not Korean. And then you equally have to provide a statement of financial resource. Yes, they do require it, but it's not obligatory. Let's go back and look at the application guide. So this is the application guide. There is every information on this application guide on how to go about applying. You could you can equally find the departments here. 
information about eligibility so we have admission guide eligibility candidates who are able to submit an apostille it's important to know that you have to apostille your document or receive a counselor or receive a counselor confirmation and you must have a foreign citizenship and satisfy one of the following neither of the parents are korean for an applicant of korean origin he or she must have completed elementary media high school outside of korea so people who did not who are koreans but studied out can equally apply so like i said the application is online from december 20 to february 15 and then they will do evaluation from march to april results will come out by mid-may registration june school year starts in august september so i'll provide a link to this website for those who might want to apply now one of the things that are always important when applying is for you to know the financial package but before the financial package this is the documents that will be required you have to fill out the application form english proficiency test like i said it can be waived one recommendation letter and then standard official score high school profile passport transcript document that proves relationship like your passport or birth certificate if your parents information is on it and then statement of financial resource all right another thing that is important to know is the money that you will be receiving as an international student if you apply to this university so here is the scholarship benefit you have tuition fully waived granted to all international students without any condition that's very important to know. Student allowance is one hundred and thirty thousand one. That's one hundred and thirty dollars. They'll give you meal allowance. So if you combine that, the two of them, you're already at about four hundred thousand. And then international allowance. If you maintain a GP of at least three to four point five, three out of four point five, you will receive that amount. Then settlement subsidy. This is one time granted once you get to Korea. You reimburse your one way flight ticket after one month of study in the first semester. So they say tuition and allowance are supported for eight semesters. Eight semesters is equivalent to four years of studies for undergraduate. If you feel like the the financial support is small, for those who are graduate students, there is UST. And then there is also KAIST Institute of Science and Technology. They equally have an undergraduate program that is ongoing. You can decide between the two of them. And know that admission into most of these universities are not difficult. The problem is that most people do not even take the time to apply. That being said, I'll see you in the next video.